With Arizona rapidly becoming a global center for high-tech industry and manufacturing, the need for an educated STEM workforce has never been greater, and the current situation is dire. Arizona is critically low when it comes to uh, STEM education. If you look at the numbers, they speak for themselves. Uh, at one point in time, I think the lowest we got down to is about 159 physics teachers left in the entire state. The Arizona STEM Acceleration Project, or ASAP, is a $10 million grant from the Arizona Department of Education targeted to address learning loss due to COVID in Arizona schools. We knew that we could make an impact by addressing existing disparities in access to high quality STEM education by designing a system and architecture that would allow for flexibility and growth, but more importantly, give educators choice and access. We believe that the best way to support our students is to support their teachers. Arizona, like many states, is losing teachers at an alarming rate. And so if we're going to address learning loss, we need to keep teachers in the field, we need to support them, and we need to provide them with the materials needed to teach high quality STEM lessons. We support teachers through a STEM fellowship program. Our fellows receive a stipend of $7,000, which includes $2,000 for classroom materials and $5,000 to support the time needed to update curriculum and attend high quality PD. In addition to supporting teachers, we also support a number of professional development organizations. Through the funding that they receive through ASAP, they're able to reach more teachers in more rural and remote areas around the state. The Arizona Educational Foundation serves two main roles in its partnership with ASAP. Our first being that we are one of the professional development providers. We go across the state to create workshops where teachers can come and learn more about STEM education, develop skills, and gain some content knowledge that they can bring back and use immediately in their classrooms. The second way that we're in a partnership with the Arizona STEM Acceleration Project is to help build a STEM lesson plan database or archive. It is through this partnership that we have collected over 1,500 lesson plans that are already being published and available to teachers, not only statewide, but across the nation. And we've even had some individuals access the database internationally. And so this is an amazing opportunity for us to create a resource that will live on beyond the extent of the project and serve as a resource for teachers for years to come. One of the elements that makes ASAP unique is that we're working directly with teachers. Teachers, not districts, apply to be ASAP fellows. And they're selected based on their ability to improve STEM teaching in their schools and communities. By doing this, we're improving teachers' agency, self-efficacy, and networks. It has given me the power to understand and, and pass that understanding on to my students that STEM is more than just doing a science activity in the classroom, or that it's just a a unit that is done. Um, it is ingrained in everything that I'm teaching and we need to make sure that our students have opportunity for productive struggle. It's what's necessary in order for us to have strong, lifelong learners. And STEM is what brings relevancy and purpose to our students. One of the things that ASAP has done is made sure that we choose our fellows proportionally across the state so that Teachers in rural, suburban, and urban areas all have access to these resources. Many times, teachers in rural areas do not have access to the professional development or materials or the support that they need in order to help students. But there are also teachers in other traditionally underserved areas, in urban areas that also need this type of support and just don't have access to it. We have teachers in one-room schoolhouses. We have teachers that are teaching in 6A Title I schools in Central Phoenix. Uh, we have teachers all over the place uh, that are all contributing to the project and uh, doing some really great, amazing work. In our year one reflection, 95% of fellows agreed that they were incorporating more STEM into their classrooms as a result of participating in the program. We're also seeing evidence of greater collaboration between teachers. Our post-program data showed an increase in the percentage of fellows who collaborate with teachers outside of their school on STEM-related teaching. Another really important statistic is that a majority of our fellows report intending to stay in the profession for 10 years or more. This is critical. Arizona needs to retain these high-quality teachers, and ASAP is taking giant steps towards reaching this goal. Unless we start upskilling and upscaling immediately, 
we're gonna run into major critical problems here in the next decade. Investing in STEM education through initiatives like ASAP is not merely an educational imperative, but a strategic move to secure Arizona's position as a leader in the global high-tech industries of the future. By empowering educators, ASAP is setting the stage for a future where STEM education and economic prosperity are inextricably linked, highlighting the crucial role of teachers in shaping tomorrow's workforce.